So it's been fairly quiet on the Elphaba front of late. Maybe nature is finally healing. But after asking for support during, um, a period... Please support me, because I will need all the support I can, because I'm going to be cranky as f Guys, I will spend every penny of ad revenue supporting Elphaba in this difficult time. All the ice creams are on me. But I'm not about to make a video on Elphaba about menstrual cycles. I actually saw a post where she just straight up said she's quitting. Yeah, not clickbait, she said it. But it makes me wonder how long this one would take, because honestly, she's had more comebacks than Paul Breach at this rate, and that is a lot of comebacks. But anyway, hello ladies and genitals, I am John5161, and if you subscribe right now, I shall hack into the mainframe and get Elphaba banned. For legal reasons, that's a joke. But Alphaba doesn't stop with that first Instagram story. I can't take this hate anymore. Maybe stop doing things that are just f***ing ridiculous then. I think it's best I just leave cause I'm the problem. How long has Alphaba been doing this TikTok stuff now? And she's only just come to the conclusion that she's in the wrong. Outstanding, maybe she'll finally wash. Or just be normal, these are great building blocks and they're not mutually exclusive. And let's be honest, we all know that this dramatic approach is because she's probably not getting as many views as she used to. Maybe reality has set in and she's realised that the internet does always move on. She's had many months in the limelight now, and that limelight appears to be flickering and dimming. Maybe this explains why she's now moving sour. But hopefully we can all finally see that now we get a change. But don't get your hopes up. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more content like ranking favourite parts of the male body? I can't get it. Truly exhilarating content. I can't believe I'm going to have to go with never seeing this ever again. But I think Elphaba saying that she's the problem, some sort of admittance strategy, I think it's just a tactic. I think that she believes if she pins the blame for something on herself, all of her old gifters are going to come back and join forces in order to pay her bills. Because it does appear that maybe some of the old gifters have finally reached an age where their brain develops. And lots of people are saying that the gifts are slowing down. And people have stopped sending her gifts for just sitting there picking her nose all day. Day. But in reality, people will probably start to feel sorry for her because of this story. It seems like this is a recurring thing because then people will start giving their sympathy. And in this weird, unwashed corner of the internet, sympathy normally comes in gift packages. And gifts mean profits. Because if we're being completely honest with ourselves, this kind of just feels like one big pity party. But that isn't all Elphaba says on this story. Because she goes on to say, I'm the problem, everyone hates me in real life and online, what's the point, full stop, of being here, I'm done, I'm I'm so done, don't message me, I don't care. I mean, yeah, you seem surprised that people don't like you in real life as well as online. Did you genuinely think your online actions won't leave this social media bubble? You literally go out of your way to do obscene things on TikTok Live and expect people not to bat an eyelid when they're detached from their screen. It's usually a common thing with uh, human interaction that if you do things that annoy people, they probably won't be your friend. Just a quick tip for you there. But the plot thickens because somebody in the comments decides they wanted to get involved. Someone who goes by the name of Beauty by Sabina states, she tried to ruin me, failed and decided to beg for attention. I'm not gonna lie, I have no clue who these people are. Every time I cover an Elphaba topic, there appears to be a new person that just pops up out of the blue. But someone replied to Sabina by saying, it was your own fault for ever siding with her. Hope you have seen firsthand what she's capable of. It's quite fitting that their username is I don't know. Because honestly, I don't know what that Sabina person is thinking by ever siding with Elphaba ever. In any Thing. At this point, if Elphaba says that pineapple doesn't belong on pizza, if you go and say that you stand with Elphaba, somehow you're gonna look like a weirdo. And what you're saying is pure facts. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. No matter how many clicks you want to get, no matter how many followers you think you're gonna get, well, maybe not followers, just views, because people don't really support Elphaba, do they? Controversy in this sense is probably not the best way to mould a career off, because if you side with Elphaba, yes, you're gonna get hundreds of thousands of views on TikTok, because they'll all be there to tell you you're an idiot, and they're not gonna follow you and support you and try and grow you. And on this occasion, the TikTok comments calling you an idiot would be right. But thankfully, I'm not the only person who's out of the loop. Because Sammy Doodah decides to get the tea for us. Because Sabina goes on to say she tried to expose me, but only exposed herself, proving she has no appreciation or care for people that are there for her or mods. I'm not being funny, but if you mod for Elphaba, give your head a wobble. You are literally sitting there trying to protect someone who is allegedly in contact with minors. She faked cancer. And that's not the only only 
things she fakes. But yeah, you make sure you go in there and filter out all the comments calling her out for it. You sit there and pound your thumbs against that screen, preventing her from taking accountability. You strange, strange people. I always wonder if these people actually get paid. Like, is there gonna be a wave of people putting TikTok Live moderator on their CV or resume? Or do people just do it for their love of the game? But anyway, this person says that somehow they weren't aware of all the stuff that Elf was done, even though they literally said they thought they could help get through to her. Not sure how that one works, but you know, whatever floats your boat. If you want to get through to her, then chances are you want to change her ways, no? But yeah, I suppose moderator dub for quitting their job as Elf of a moderator. Hopefully the notice period isn't too long and you can go and apply for a job to be CLA's moderator or something, I don't know. But obviously I know with the devastating news of no more Elf I'm sure you're all absolutely gutted. What is life with no Elf videos? Better is probably the answer. But if this truly is the end of Elphaba videos and Elphaba's wicked ways, which it probably isn't, let's be honest, let's send her off with a video of her response when someone's asking about gifting. Girl, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want to, gifting's right there. But I, I'm looking for like the people with the big gifting badges, so if you got none, don't bother. I want to see people with a gifting badge, you know? What I mean? Yeah, if you're not a big money gifter, what are you even doing here? Know your place in the poor people corner. No povo gifts, please. But in all honesty, I'm not sure how you get to this stage of your life. You're so numb to just sitting there getting free money for doing absolutely fuck all. To the point where you're now starting to get picky with the free money that you receive. All of the money goes to the same pot. I'm not sure how you can really complain there. You do nothing. You just sit there and gather dust. And people will genuinely see that and go, love me some dust gathering, let me fund that. Absolute weirdos, get a grip. No. What was that? Thanks Elphaba, I'm so glad I got to see the acapella version of Naughty Noo Noo. But also, based off the comments of this, it appears Elphaba might have moved to a new place. Maybe she's been evicted again, I don't know. Surely landlords will see that she's playing rent tennis and just think, maybe, just maybe, that's not something I want to deal with. Obviously, I'm not wishing for Elphaba to be homeless, that's just bloody ridiculous. But imagine you're a landlord and you come across her digital footprint. You're not exactly gonna think, oh yeah, I'll keep her in my walls. Not like that, that made more sense in my head. Why would someone give someone it's all right. I, I get it, babes. I know. They don't have to give me gifts. They don't. They choose to, and I don't know why myself, but I love my people. Right, I'm just gonna say it straight up. That was Paul Breach's voice there. Please do not tell me this is a future collaboration. But honestly, the question raised was a very good question. Scientists are still researching and trying to find out why people continue to gift to Alphabet. It's honestly one of the galaxy's biggest unsolved issues. Or maybe it's just the fact that they're fucking morons. That may have saved some research budget. I can't help but feel as though this clip here from Alphabet just comes across very, very ungrateful. Like imagine being one of these smooth brains that sent her money for no reason. And then she's there, unable to give a reason for them to actually send the gifts. At least say something like, oh, it supports me financially. It makes me able to carry on making this content. Ugh, I hate the fact that that sentence just left my mouth. Awful for everyone watching, I do apologize. But one last thing that I'd like to infect your screens with is a clip of Elphaba who has received a gift from someone who apparently is underage. And everybody in the chat is telling Elphaba, refund this person, they're too young to be sending you gifts. Apparently the gifter in question is 12 years old, and given the amount of money they're spending, it's clear they've taken their parents' card. And here is Elphaba's attitude to the situation. Block. Block. This just seems very wrong. I personally don't know the exact guidelines with TikTok because I don't really use it as a creator. But if the chat are clearly letting you know that a child is sending you money, well, no action is better than this action. You should definitely just do the responsible thing and send the money back. It takes one click to look at their profile and everyone in the chat was saying that they had their age, which was 12 in the bio and photos of them in school uniform. And it wasn't just a few roses, by the way. They sent two universes. And they're $550 each. That's over a grand. But let's be honest, Elphaba was never going to give that money back, was she? But that's not the end of it. Do you see how this has, like, now killed the vibe and I'm just getting so much hate on it and I haven't even asked for it? Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's very, um, it's, it is hard to deal with sometimes for me. And it's just like, it's just not fair. Yeah, just sitting there and getting given money for literally doing nothing. How can you deal with it? It must be, it must be so challenging. I'm not sure how you're coping with that burden of receiving free money. Maybe the pressure would be lifted if you, you know, refund the child. That's a great start, but you know, 
Maybe instead just talk about vibes. I'm sure when the kids' parents see their bank statement, they're gonna go, that's killed the vibe. I'm sure they won't just, you know, get extremely stressed out about where a grand has gone from their bank account. That could well be a couple of months' rent. You never know what these people are going through. But at least Alphaba can get another Gucci bang and some more flying toys. And I don't know if you saw in the bottom of the clip, but everyone spamming refund, that just abruptly came to an end. So either everybody just magically decided to stop at the same time, or Alphaba has muted the word refund refund and variants of it. So it's not an innocent thing for the people thinking that it is? Because I'm sure people out there are probably going to blame the kid and saying Elphaba doesn't have to refund, but it's a kid. They don't understand the concept of money. They've probably just taken a card and gone, oh yeah, let me just support Elphaba for whatever reason. And literally before this, she was literally saying she doesn't want any drama. No, I just, I really, I just, I don't want the drama. Do you understand that though? Put a yes in the chat if you understand that. Guys, put a yes in the chat if you think my Lego sets are really cool. This one's not finished yet. Says she wants no drama, then proceeds to ignore her whole chat and then actively make them stop talking when they're asking her to refund a child who's given her a grand. But just to tick off your Elphaba bingo card, how about some victim playing? I just wish that people could stop investing their time into me and being sort of like... creepy. Like, making a witch hunt about me and... Like, it's just so hard to live with. It's really hard to live with a hate it is. I hope you're all jumping out of your seats screaming bingo right now, because honestly, this has been one of the most textbook assortment of alphabet traits. We've had pity party. We've had money related drama. Pretending to quit. Random house change. Shaming gifters. Randomly singing between drama. The classic, I don't need drama. And finally, for the full house, people are obsessed and creepy. It's honestly no wonder she's posting less. People are finally seeing through these awful schemes and moving on with their lives. But anyway guys, that's where I'm going to lead today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please do feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It is completely free and it helps me out massively. And uh, yeah, cheers. Bye.